How you doing? Welcome back. My name is Rick and this is Winders Ranger. So today we're going to do a, it's not really a mod video I guess, it's kind of a maybe an upgrade fix slash mod, a little bit of all that, all the above. Um, the skylight here is, we're in the shower in the bathroom and the skylight when they installed this uh, RV uh, or when they installed the skylight in the RV rather, um, it's got some sawdust and stuff around the edges and, and it's open they, when they folded the membrane of the roof inside, along these edges on the inside here, it's, uh, it's, it's open into the, if you want to call it, it's not really a crawl space, but into the, we'll call it the attic, between the ceiling and the roof. There's uh, probably about four inches there. And uh, <clears throat> any kind of little creepy crawlies, flies, bugs, gnats, anything that makes it into that crawl space tend to collect on this skylight. And it makes the sky, you get the little dark spot of the bug that, that ends up dying and, and dries up on top of the skylight and then you can't get it off. So the plan today is we're going to take the skylight down, clean it, clean all the stuff that's off of it, and then I'm going to use some of the, um, the Turnabon tape. And we're going to try to put a Turnabon tape between the, 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 the other skylight still outside on the, on the roof. We're not going to take that off but in between that and the ceiling and then put this, this skylight back in. There's, there's two. There's the outside and then there's the inside. So that's what we're going to do today, or at least try. We're not real sure what we're going to find when we take this down. Uh, we've got to get the screw gun, take the screws out, and uh, we'll get started from there. Okay, so that's turns out the lights attached that figures uh, what do we got it's like three screws so here's what we'll do I'm gonna put the screw back in over here hopefully hold this end up whoops wrong way And we'll put one over here while we work on Okay, Let's see what we got here. So there you got the uh Inside of the, I guess the ceiling, I don't know, crawl space, attic, whatever. The top side of the skylight, probably not the best to let it hang from the wires, but uh, it's, I'm not disconnecting them, so if it kills that particular light, not a big deal. Uh, I actually considered maybe installing LEDs up here in this space when I, before I put this back together, but I haven't gone to the store to pick those up. So we're just going to concentrate right now on uh, see if maybe we can put that Eternabon tape in there to fill that gap. And um, actually, I wonder Eternabon tape or maybe that Gorilla tape might be better. Kind of hate to waste the Eternabon tape on that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go grab the Gorilla tape instead and we'll put that in there. Gonna take a little bit of just a paper towel here. Probably gonna need to make that wet. Because there's it's almost like the I don't know, I don't know why there's it's not a stain, it's like uh, like there was some moisture on this thing when they installed it. And uh, ended up getting some sawdust or something on it. Not real sure what in the heck that is. Hmm. That there doesn't exactly want to come off. I'll tell you what, I'll take that off. Putting the tape up here, put 
two rows there, I think. Okay. I'm not sure how this is going to work. How, or how, I should say, how well it's going to work. But we shall find out. I can tell you, Gorilla Tape is uh, it's quite the tape. I'm really impressed by this stuff. A neighbor turned me on to this stuff. I've never used it before. Always kind of dismissed it as a, you know, like a fad or something, but I can tell you my experience with it. It's the real deal. That stuff sticks like there's no tomorrow. I grew up with uh, duct tape for the most part, but uh, over the years, I don't think duct tape really uh, is the quality that it once was, you know. I don't know if they've gotten wrapped up in the uh, what do they call that? The uh, basically they hire engineers to come in, office people or whatever. I don't know to uh, research their product and engineer it in such a way to start saving money by reducing the quality of the product that they're selling. I don't know that to be a fact, but duct tape is definitely not what it was. I think it was, and don't hold me to this, but I think duct tape was originally developed just exactly for that, for uh, duct work. You know, sealing up duct work. Um, do this side next. Anyhow, this stuff here is far better than uh, any duct tape, I can tell you. Oh, look at that, that's nice. It's part of the hole saw that they use to drill a hole for the wire to come through. No need to uh, clean up your mess when you're building something, I guess, right? They didn't do it anywhere else on this thing. I can tell you that to be true. Ooh. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how well this is going to Waste. I don't have a whole lot of that Turnabon tape. That stuff's pretty expensive. I think just that one roll that I've got, I don't know how many feet that is. I don't think it's 10 feet. And I've already used a little bit of it. Um, but it was like $45 just for that one roll. So I would rather not waste a bunch of it on... Uh, silly project like this, you know. It's more of a specialized uh, product designed for out outdoor use, sealing the uh, the roof. So we don't need to use it. Probably better, just about as far ahead to save it 
I probably, I should, probably should clean that too. But this is the actual outside. This is the, the um, skylight on the roof. And it's just on with um, butyl tape and then screws and then lap sealing on the outside. So if we ever get to a point, which we will, I can tell you, where we'll have to replace the outside skylight, we don't want to have this tape here interfere with that. I mean, there's not much it can really do, I don't guess, but Man, this stuff is some kind of sticky. Hmm. Uh, let's see. All right, well, that, there you go. It's kind of how I figured it would work. Uh, didn't really want to stick all that great to the part of the roof there that's coming through the membrane. But that seals it up anyhow, pretty good. So uh, go ahead and put the skylight back. this finished product turned out pretty good it actually uh, gives the light that comes in from the roof or from the outside skylight kind of gives it a softer feel actually having that dark uh, dark tape around the edges there and what I might end up doing I don't know I have to go to the store and see but I might end up taking and adding a strip of like LEDs around the inside of here just laying them up there somehow and just wiring them into the existing light that's an incandescent bulb everything else in here in the trailer is uh, LED except for this one bulb I don't know why unless that was just what they had laying around or that comes as a kit and that's all that kit is I don't I don't know but anyway the skylights a lot cleaner looks a lot nicer well there you have it that's uh, we got that job done it didn't take all that long I don't know maybe a half an hour altogether at the most so uh, thanks for sticking around and uh, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. That really helps out with the uh, getting this, this video out on the platform. It helps the channel out in general. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. That keeps you up to date on future videos to come down the road. So with that being said, hope everyone uh, is well. And we will see you all on the next video.